What's going on YouTube for us here? I hope you guys are doing well. I've been somebody that's been pumping X Defiance tires for quite some time now. I've had a lot of excitement surrounding this game ever since the pre-alpha and now obviously into the open session. That hype's built a little bit now that I've been able to play the game. But there is a narrative that is surfacing on social media that I think we do need to talk about and I think we do need to address when it comes to X Defiant. And I think it's because people have grown so skeptical of what developers and studios have said because of all of the misleading marketing speak that we've heard over and over and over again from some of the biggest titles within the industry. We're so often told that this game is innovative, this game is great, and we get YouTubers that tell us the same thing. And then we get our hands on these titles and we realize, oh, this game actually sucks. And the people that have been marketing it to me, well, they're paid to market it, and none of the opinions were actually honest. And then in comes X Defiant, a title where once again, you're hearing all of that same hype, all of that same buzz. It's great, it's good, it's going to be a game changer, it's a love letter to arcade shooters. And it kind of falls on deaf ears because it's the old notion of fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, shame on you. And I think people are just not willing to get fooled more than once. And, and, I, and I understand that. So this narrative that's been building over the last few days on the internet that X Defiant is overhyped. It's garbage, it's trash, it's not a good game. And you have people fighting on the other side of it that are saying it's great, it's fantastic, it's perfect. And yes, I fall closer to the latter portion of people where I do feel that this is a very good game. It's obviously a game that's still a work in progress. This isn't the final iteration of this game, but it's got a good foundation that we can build off of. But this notion that it's overhyped or that it's a garbage game to me is just kind of a lazy narrative to push just because you've been burned before. And I get it. You don't want to get con consistently burned and that's fair and I can sympathize with that. But when it comes to X Defiant, there is literally no downside to just trying the game out because it's going to be free to play. And it's an opportunity for you to try it and see if you like it or you don't. And that's the beautiful thing about this game is there's no need for marketing speak. There's no need for YouTubers to overhype it because X Defiant isn't trying to sell you on an initial release price. They're going to give it to you for free. And it's up to you to come to your own conclusions. And I think that's the important distinction that we need to make with X Defiant. Is that this is going to be a free to play game. And because it's going to be free to play, it's going to allow you to come to your own conclusions. Instead of going in with preconceived notions. If you want to come in and be skeptical the first time you play it. That's fine. I'm not against that. I think we should look at things with a skeptical viewpoint sometimes. But we also have to be understanding that this is a brand new IP. This is a brand new project. And I think they deserve a little bit of leeway compared to some of its competitors that have been around for 15 plus years. And honestly, what I'm seeing around the internet is two different sides of this community infighting and yeah this is going to happen whenever a new release happens but the disappointing part is one side isn't even willing to give the game a chance and there's no concern about giving the game a chance like you don't have to be worried about wasting money just try the game out and if you don't like it that's fine and i've you know heard from people in the comment section that don't like the game and that's fine you don't have to i don't think anyone's saying you have to like this game but what I am seeing and the narrative that I have seen between, from people that like this game is that it is a breath of fresh air. It feels like I'm playing classic Call of Duty with a beautiful art style. And I'm all for that because that's the way I honestly feel. This is a perfect blend of Call of Duty and Overwatch all together wrapped up neatly and it feels like a classic Call of Duty game or at least a classic Call of Duty game clone which I'm totally okay with. And frankly, this is what's been missing in this genre for quite some time. So is it overhyped garbage? Is it nonsense? Is it just a bunch of YouTubers that are doing this to try to garner clicks and views? 
I don't really think so. I think the game does have some solid bones, and I think people are recognizing that. And I think there's been such a drought within this community to have a game like this that people are getting a little bit overexcited about it. And I think that's a fair criticism. But there's reasons to be excited about X Defiant, because what we're seeing is exactly a design that we'd like to see other games replicate. Honestly, if you want anything for X Define is what you should want, even if you think the game is bad, even if you think the game is overhyped, is a shift in the mentality between developer and community relationships. Because I'll be honest with you, that's one of the things that excites me the most. I've reiterated here on this channel many times. What we should be pushing for is better communication from the developers to their community. And that, to me, is what's most important from this X Defiant team thus far, is the constant communication and the constant feedback. One of the big problems that I've had with Call of Duty over the last few years is they're constantly ignoring the feedback from their own community. And they're not implementing it into their games to actually make their games better. And that's what I'd like to see change, and that's what I feel is going to happen here in X-Defined, is I do not think that our feedback is going to fall on deaf ears. So it can be more so your game, instead of the game that the developers envision it to be. And I think that's important for this genre moving forward. So, I'm not against you thinking the game is overhyped, or the game is garbage. What I am against is you not accepting the fact that this is a path forward to make all of first-person shooters better. But I think it's important to recognize that this type of community developer relationship is what should become industry standard so that we can have prosperous games moving forward, games that feel more community driven instead of profit driven. And that's the important takeaway. Now to get to the main point of this video again, is the game overhyped? Is it garbage? I personally don't think so. I think there are some people within this community that are overhyping it just a little bit, maybe calling it the best game ever, maybe calling it the best shooter experience they've ever had. I think that's a little bit overblown. But I think when we look at the consensus throughout the community, I think people are just happy to play something that's fun again and something that is a time suck. Because last time I checked, Call of Duty does not do that for the majority of the people within its own community. And what I've found with X Defiant, especially for myself, is my play sessions are three to four hours long. And it's been a very long time since I've found a game that does that for me and that I can just sink time into. And I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Yes, the game has problems. Yes, the game has issues that will need to be fixed as we move forward. But when it comes to the foundation that has been laid by Ubisoft so far, I think that it is worth the praise that it's getting. It's not perfect, and I don't think it'll ever be perfect. And expecting a game to be perfect out of the gate, I think, is just setting yourself up to fail. So, what I'd like you to do is, if you believe this is an overhyped garbage game, is try it out. Go in with a skeptical mindset. Go in with a blank slate mindset. It does not matter. The worst that can happen is you don't like the game. But instead of just sitting there behind a computer screen and saying, this game is overhyped, try it out. See what you are experiencing and understand that this is better for the community moving forward. Having more competition within this genre isn't a bad thing, even if you feel the games are overhyped or garbage. The honest truth is, is this community is starving for something to rally behind because it's been a drought within the genre for far too long and the community needs something to be excited about. So... I see why we're excited about X Defiant, and I'm excited too. From what I've seen so far in this beta, from the pre-alpha, all of that stuff, they are doing things right. They are working with the right people in the community, they're listening to feedback, and they're constantly trying to improve the game. And I, I'm all for that. Now, if things stop and the game declines in quality, they start ignoring feedback, they start doing the same things that Activision will do, or has been doing, I'll be the first one to call it out. Because this has been one of the big selling features for me, for X Defiant. So if they start to reverse their current track, then yeah, I'm going to call it out. I'm going to say, what the hell, X Defiant? What the hell, Ubisoft? What the hell, Mark Rubin? Why have you stopped communicating with your community why is it that you're stopping 
trying to work with them. I think that's really unfair. But that's what I'm going to leave you guys with today. An honest thought experiment. If you think it's overhyped, try it out. If you tried it out and didn't like it, that's fine. But I promise you that this game is going to start a new trend. Or at least I hope that it starts a new trend within the first person arcade shooter genre that is going to be prosperous for everybody within this community where we're seeing a better developer community relationship. One where the community does not feel like it's being ignored and left behind. And I think we can all agree that that's better in the long run. So, what I'd love to hear from you guys down below is what your thoughts are on this topic. Do you think X Defiant is overhyped? Do you feel that this game is delivering in the facets you expected it to be? All of that and more, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. As always, guys, I thank you very much for watching. I thank you very much if you enjoyed this video and you hit that like button. I thank you so much for the new people that have subscribed. We are so close to 2,000 subscribers. I can taste it. So please help me get there. Because at the end of the day, I'll take your feedback as well. Let me know what you'd like to see on this channel and maybe we'll make it happen. But thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.